Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Jason Wish. Thanks for joining me today. I'm on the Simon Kenton Trail. It actually originates in my hometown of Bell Fountain, Ohio, and heads south approximately 35 miles into the city of Springfield, Ohio, pretty close to Buck Creek State Park. From there, there is a trail called the Buck Creek Trail that takes you up to the state park campground area and the reservoir. Or you can jump on another trail called the Little Miami Scenic Trail, I believe, or something like that. And it takes you all the way down to Yellow Springs, Xenia, and beyond. You can actually walk this trail all the way to Caesar Creek State Park. And one day I plan to do that. But today is just a long distance training day with my full pack. I have my light AF Curve 35 fully loaded for an overnight trip. We had some pretty heavy rains last night and I needed to get a long distance train session in and I thought what better place to do it than on the Simon Kenton Trail and you can see behind me it is a chip seal uh, pathway strictly for walking and biking uh, down towards Urbana here about 15 miles from here it uh, is paved so it'll be like walking on a road Actually, road walking probably beats up my feet and joints more than hiking in the trails, even though this is easy miles. Anyway, thanks for coming along today, guys. I'll keep you in the loop on my long distance training sessions, and today is one of those big ones. So let's get moving. So along the path of the Simon Kenton Trail, I will go through several small towns before reaching Springfield, which is a uh, moderate sized city and then before Yellow Springs. I don't know if I'm gonna make it that far tonight. I haven't decided how far I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go south until it gets dark or until I see a good place to set up my hammock for the night. And then my wife is gonna pick me up sometime tomorrow morning after another small walk. I would like to make it to Buck Creek State Park, but uh, that is about 30, 31 miles, maybe 32 miles. So I don't know if I can make it that far since it's already approaching high noon today so just gonna go as far as I can we'll see how I feel it's definitely overcast and a little cooler today so I think I could get some higher mileage in but uh, it is still pretty humid not my kind of hiking most of my training hikes I am speed hiking and I don't ever stop to cook or relax and today I plan to slow down a little bit since I have my full pack and I intend to stop and cook several times to make sure my belly's full because I've been burning a lot of calories and losing some weight. So I have to be careful and keep fully hydrated and fueled. Well, I'm currently just south of Bell Fountain, almost in between Bell Fountain and West Liberty. And there are about 80 cars lined up here along the tracks on along the Simon Kenton Trail. Some pretty cool graffiti and pretty interesting seeing these beasts up close and personal but they've been here for quite a while. I am a little concerned about how my uh, feet and joints are gonna get beat up carrying a heavy pack on this asphalt. It's just gonna be like a long all day road walk and I don't particularly like road walks. I don't mind five, six, seven miles every now and then, but whew, this is a doozy. This one's gonna be all day and into the evening. So I'll probably be a little bit sore. Currently walking through West Liberty. And this is one of the Simon Kenton Trail head parking lots right down there behind that red truck. After walking through West Liberty, we just have a few miles to go to the famous Mad River, one of my favorite kayaking and canoeing rivers. And it's a good thing too because I'm getting very low on water. I'm currently seven miles in, still got many miles ahead. Leaving Logan County, entering Champaign County. Next up will be Clark County. Oh, here we are at the lovely Mad River. Just in the nick of time. I'm going to uh, skirt my way down through the brush there and filter me some water. Well, this doesn't look very fun. I mean, there's a little trail here. And I'm sure it's very overgrown and full of spider webs, unfortunately, but it's my only option. Not very 
very easy. Ah, that opens up a little bit. It's not too bad now. <sighs> yep, definitely some spider webs on the way down. I'm gonna run underneath the, the old railroad bridge. Hopefully I can get access to the water right over here. There we go. Oh man. I would absolutely love to be hopping in my kayak right now. That would be very, very refreshing. Instead of walking another 15 or 20 miles, I could be floating down a river for 15 or 20 miles. Today I'm going to try out the Catadine Be Free. Wow, look at that flow rate. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Man, so much faster than my Sawyer Squeeze. Nice. All restocked with water, and now my pack is very heavy. I'm halfway to Urbana. When we get to Urbana, there's a place called the Depot Coffee Shop, and they have sandwiches in there. I'm gonna go in and grab me a bite. But that's a few hours away, so, um, like I said earlier, I have about a day and a half's worth of food with me. I think I'm going to stop along the way and maybe even fire up my stove and enjoy a nice early dinner, late lunch. Oh, the Mad River tastes so good. Well, things are going pretty good. I just passed mile 12 here on the Simon Kenton Trail. That means I have five miles to Urbana, where the Depot Coffee Shop is. And I intend to swing in there for a quick bite to eat before heading on down towards Springfield. And originally my wife was either going to pick me up tonight right before dark or tomorrow mid-morning. I have my hammock set up with me and my uh, Z-Packs, not my Z-Packs, my uh, Light AF Curve 35. And I'm intending to camp out here somewhere tonight. However, somebody contacted me and said they wanted to meet up with me tonight at Buck Creek State Park. I don't know if I'm going to quite make it that far. It's probably almost 20 miles, 19 or 20 miles from here for me to get to Buck Creek. But they said they would yellow blaze me to Buck Creek to find a picnic table and a fire ring. And it sounds good to me. So um, they have a little surprise for me. I like surprises. Stick around to the end of the video and find out who's going to meet me at Buck Creek and what they have for me. Oh boy, this is a long, long, boring, straight path. I mean, as far as you can see behind me that way and out in front of me. I mean, as far as the eye can see, it's straight. No elevation, no turns. Boring chip seal the entire way. I would much rather be deep in the woods climbing hills and enjoying the shade from the canopy above. But when everything is wet and muddy and there's no new trails close to home, I guess this is the next best way to go get a long mileage day in. This is King's Creek. Looks very clear. I don't know if it's safe to drink. I mean, I know there's uh, some cattle farms upstream. But uh, this flows into the Mad River at State Route 296, one of the many kayak put-ins that we have used over the years on the Mad River. Well, I've made it to downtown. Urbana and straight ahead is the depot where I'm hoping it's still open because I'm gonna go in and buy me a sandwich rather than light up my cat can stove and cook 17 miles in for the day and I can definitely tell I've been walking on pavement all day I'm a little sore but I know I'll feel much better as soon as I take a little break and get some food in me Well, I'm here taking a load off at the Depot coffee shop, and unfortunately, I missed getting a sandwich by 45 minutes. They shut it down at 4 o'clock. So instead, I got me a banana, some cane sugar birch beer. It's very good. 
And for lunch, well, I guess it's dinner time now. I'm having uh, Indian Karma. It's a good to go meal. Cook it on the cat can stove. Down here. Well, that was a nice relaxing stop. I'm back on the trail, heading towards Springfield. It's 15 miles to Buck Creek State Park. I don't think I'm gonna make it that far tonight, but we'll see. Um, I feel rejuvenated and ready to crank out some more miles. But what I'm really looking forward to is the surprise visit I'm getting ready to have tonight with a special surprise for dinner. I can't wait. Currently on the south side of Urbana and this is the best section of the trail so far. It's actually canopied in pretty good and much cooler than it was out there in that exposed area for the last 17 miles. Going under US Route 68, leaving Urbana. Echo! Woohoo! All right, so this tunnel I just went through and I thought I was going underneath US Route 68. It is not, it is 55. State Route 55, also known as Old Troy Pike. And down the road, about three miles, two or three miles, is the Mad River, where we have put in and taken out many, many times in the past. I have left Urbana, and soon we will be walking by Cedar Bog. I'm not gonna be going into Cedar Bog, but I will definitely point it out when we go by it. It's about two miles away. All right, I have made it to the 20 mile mark on the Simon Kenton Trail from Bell Fountain. That was uh, the minimum I wanted, I wanted to go. I really wanted to make 25 or 30. I think I'll make 25, we'll see. Unless I decide to stop and take a break at this death bench where I could lay down and die. All right, I gotta get moving. I wanna get at least five more miles in before my surprise visitor comes and snatches me up off the trail. Made it to the Cedar Bog area. There's the uh, little visitor center right there. The entrance to Cedar Bog is right there. It's a state nature preserve. It actually has a different name. I can't remember what it is. I mean, it's considered a state nature preserve, but uh, it's also considered something else, but I'm uh, drawing a blank, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful area. There's a 0.7 of a mile boardwalk around the bog in there. Mile 22. Got a couple more to go before I get picked up. All right, I have arrived to a trailhead parking lot here along the Simon Kenton Trail at a little village called Bullisville, right off US Highway 68, a few miles north of Springfield. This is where I'm gonna be ending my hike tonight. Made it 24 miles. I was hoping to get a little bit further, but I am pretty worn out and getting a little bit sore. So I also have a surprise guest here that's coming to pick me up. You won't believe who showed up down here. Hey, it's the Colonel. What a surprise, man. What are you doing down here? Man, I just, I thought that was you when I came over the hill. <laughs> I'm going to hop in with the Colonel. We'll see you at Buck Creek State Park. Well, here we are at Buck Creek State Park. The Colonel and I have backed into a non-electric site here at the Buck Creek State Park campground, and we're going to... Oh, there he is. <laughs> it's going to feel good to relax for a while. We're going to start a fire. We got bratwurst. We got kebabs. We got sweet corn, salt, butter, pepper, ketchup, mustard, relish, the whole nine yards. I can't believe it. Colonel brought me a chair. Thanks, buddy. Of course. Yes. I'm ready to sit down and take a load off. Oh, yeah. We got us a nice fire going. It is so relaxing. The temperature is actually comfortable. It's a little humid, but... It's not bad. It feels very nice. So as soon as this fire gets burnt down to some good coals, the bratwurst are going on and the kebabs. That is a nice looking fire, Colonel. Yes, it is. It feels good too. It does. It's just the right temperature for it. It's perfect. It's making me hungry. <laughs> so Colonel picked some fresh corn right out of the field for this. Oh, baby, look at that. Mmm. This is going to be so good. I'm so hungry I could eat it raw, Colonel. Listen to that sound. You're going clear? That is fresh. 
You're husking the whole thing? No, I messed up. Dang it, did you have to ruin my video? <laughs> I wasn't supposed to husk that all the way. We're supposed to just take a little bit of the husk off. For the we fire. gotta put it back in. <laughs> One of them's gonna be charred. Extra charred. Oh yeah. Mm. How do you, I think we can rewrap that. The corn is on. Next up, kebabs. Oh yeah. Those are looking very delicious. The beef kebabs with green bell peppers, yellow bell peppers, and onions. The sweet corn's coming along nicely. Colonel, I think it's time to eat, buddy. Oh, this is looking good. Look at that sweet corn without the husk turned out pretty nice. I'm, I'm surprised. I like that. I figured that would have burnt to a... I'm, I thought it would pop. These, uh, these beef kebabs, <laughs> I'd say those are uh, medium rare and ready to go. All right, here we go. The kebabs are done. And unfortunately, they're well done. But, you know, who cares at this point? I'm just starving and I'll eat anything. I don't care if it tastes like a shoe leather, Colonel. Mmm. Mmm. It still tastes amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks awesome. Okay. All right, Colonel, let's see this, man. Oh, oh don't stab yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> That's good stuff. Oh, yeah. We need to make some homemade kebabs next time. Yes. Can't believe it's not butter. Nobody will ever know. <laughs> A magic trick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit of Coming salt out. to bring out the sweetness. There it is. Not that it needs brought out. This just, is fresh out of the field, what, two hours ago, Colonel? Yeah, I just picked it tonight. Oh, man. Colonel went to my field. I directed him on where the fresh patch was that we were currently picking. And he picked four fresh ears just for tonight. Colonel, I, I much I appreciated. Got, I hope I got the right four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here are my two ears. This is the one that I husked on accident. And this is the one that was in the husk. So it's probably steamed more. This one is charred more. I'm gonna try this one first. Oh, geez. <laughs> That's opened wow. up on the big opening. I noticed I could really taste it on the one side <laughs> <Yeah>. here. <laughs> All right, let's try out this delicious sweet corn. Twice as good as it was on Tippy Dam Pond. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. All right, so I am on ear number two, and this is the one that was in the husk. And I've already had a couple bites. And I just had to let you know that cooking it over the fire in the husk is twice as good as cooking the corn over the fire with no husk. It almost like steams it inside the husk, so it's really, really good. You could probably replicate it on your grill. The only difference is it's not going to have that fire char taste to it that we like so much. So this is by far the best way to do it, the way we did it tonight. It is excellent. All right, it is bratwurst time. And I actually sliced mine in half, so I was able to enjoy two bratwurst. Ketchup, mustard, and relish. It's not my Wishwell Farms relish, but it's regular pickle relish from the store. But that will do. That's all right. It's better than no relish, right? Yep. Mmm. This turned out so good. Yeah, this is the best meal I've had in a long time. Mm. Probably since Tippy Dam Pond. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, after a 24-mile hike, anything is good. But all this food cooked up great tonight. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I know Colonel did, too. It's getting pretty late. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. Time to make our way home back to Belly Fontaine. All right, we're heading home for the night. It is past 11 o'clock. Man, we had a great time hanging out at Buck Creek State Park. Lots of good eats. Got a full belly. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. That's a nice 24 mile training hike on Simon Kenton Trail. And so glad Colonel was able to come and pick me up and surprise me here. And thanks for coming along, guys. Really appreciate it. Until next time, I'm Jason Wish. This is the Colonel. Woohoo! Wishing you a great time on your next adventure. 
It's bedtime, Colonel. <laughs> it's all fun and games until you're sleep deprived. <laughs>